Frank Oliver Jr., head coach of the Bishop McNamara Lady Mustangs. Uh, we've had some unprecedented success in the last couple of years. Uh, we were number one in the country for seven weeks last year, sponsored by Under Armour, uh, who is our principal sponsor. Um, you know, just, it's just been a blessing to be here at Bishop McNamara High School. Um, and, if, and if you can be number one here, I mean, it's the best place in the world to be one of the top programs in the country because of the support of the DMV. can't turn on the television without seeing somebody from the DMV, whether it be professional, whether it be college. Um, it's just been a rich basketball tradition and history in this area. For the winner, congratulations to the cadets taking down the number one team in the country, Bishop Vanderbilt Mustangs. We were 31 and four last year, uh, finished runner up in the WCAC. We lost in the championship at St. John's and that's kind of fueled our fire in this off season. We had five seniors this year, uh, Madison Scott, Leah Two King, Shanna Hayes, Hope Evans, Aaliyah Pitts. Our juniors are Taylor Gibson, who's a 6'2 junior, as well as Jessica Singletary, uh, who's a junior as well. Um, our two, we have two sophomores, Yonta Vaughn, as well as Gia Cook. And we have two freshmen, Kaden Samuels and Sanaya Jai. You gonna give us our packet tomorrow? I give, uh, yes, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yep, I got you. Yes, all right, so um, this is our basketball office. This is kind of like the hub. Um, we had, you know, we were blessed and fortunate uh, to be placed in here. Uh, as you can see, we do have some of our trophies from last year. Uh, this was the Beach Ball Classic down in Myrtle Beach, uh, as well as 2017-2018 uh, Coach of the Year, WCAC Coach of the Year, uh, which is another blessing, which I look at as a total team effort. I feel as if our coaching staff provides uh, support for our girls uh, on and off the court. Uh, they are a pleasure to work with. You know, I wouldn't trade them for anybody in the world. Um, and they are a part of Bishop McNamara, and they are a part of what makes our program special. We had a really, really talented, decent team that put propelled us to number one in the country. Um, we had our ups and downs during the process, but still maintained who we were. It was a hard, no-nonsense defense type of team that I think propelled us to the number one spot in the country during that time. We fell a little short, but I think from my first year all the way up until last year was my fourth season here, it's been exponential growth. For women, the ball, uh, the air is not in the ball line. So I need them to learn how to use the game before it uses them. Um, Character-wise, I'm always teaching them all the way down to hygiene, to appearance, to the way that they dress when they go in the gym. Like, I'm a stickler for all of those types of things. Um, and we go over that as soon as the season starts. And I hold them to it. At the core of that, we all genuinely love the girls. And we're all excited about them having the opportunity of first being here, this awesome school, but then secondly, just having to know how to know how to get to that next level. We believe that if you don't have good players, you can be the greatest coach possible. If you don't have good players, it's, you know, it's just, it's impossible to win great, a lot of big games if you don't have good players. I'm a 1996 graduate of the Matthew Catholic High School. Um, I had the honor of playing for the legendary coach Morgan Wu. Uh, from there, I transitioned on to Florida and m University uh, in Tallahassee, Florida, where I played for Mickey Clayton. It was just an amazing experience being at an HBCU. I had opportunity to, to have a cup of coffee overseas. Uh, you know, went with one of my buddies over to Europe. When I came back home in December of 2002, uh, my mother actually asked me to help a young lady who was 12 years old, had just transferred in from Hawaii. She was uh, staying at Bowling Air Force Base in Southeast. And uh, when I came, you know, when she asked me, I just said, you know, I can't say no to my mom. So uh, I went in there and started working with her. Long story short, she ended up going to University of North Carolina and she became a McDonald's All-American. Uh, and she also, you know, was first team all met in, the, in this area. And that kind of got me started in, in, the, in into girls basketball. There was an old saying that a teacher is one who makes themselves progressively unnecessary. Actually, it was said by Thomas Carruthers, who was an educator in the 19th century. And I live by that mantra. You know, if, I, if I'm a good teacher, if I'm training my, te uh, coaching my team or teaching my team, you know, in the right manner, they should be able to learn how to be self-sufficient and independent because I'm not going to be able to go to college with them. And I don't, my goal is for them to go to college and be self-sufficient. And the coach knows that they can depend on them for their daily maintenance, for them to make sure that their grades are, are good, to make sure that they know that they have to be in practice, that they have to work out without being told that they have to do it. Oh, that's